Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about the solution for economic and emission load dispatch of the power plant by using differential evaluation. So main aim of this uh, and the differential evaluation to minimize the fuel cost and the emission cost of the power plant. Yeah. So for that we are going to use this differential evaluation optimization algorithm. So here we are going to uh, optimize the uh, power plant for 24 hours. So for that we have uh, the 24, uh, 24 hours load data. That means here we are going to use uh, 10 generator unit or gen, uh, 10 generator mo uh, model. Okay. So here we can see that. So we have the 24 hours data, load data, right? From hour 1 to hour 24. Okay. So for each hour we are going to optimize the, the power generation of the power plant by using a differential evolution in order to uh, minimize the fuel cost and the emission cost okay so this is a code used for uh, implementing that uh, the differential evolution for optimization of uh, economic emission uh, load dispatch so here you have to provide the, the 24 hours load data and then so inside here you have to use that loop loop function for sending the each load data and then you have to uh, find the the optimal power generation for a 10 generator okay so first you have to generate the first load and then you have to execute the differential evolution right so once it is executed here it comes to here so this is a code of that means uh, this is a code for that differential evolution so here you can see that uh, so this is the data generated data okay uh, that means uh, here they have that value for a uh, the fuel cost coefficient and the maximum minimum limit for that uh, power generation <coughs> so everything you can see here right and then this is a power loss coefficient okay and this is emission uh, data for the uh, turn generator and then here we have that uh, uh, this is used for calling that objective function and then uh, you have to provide a lower, lower bond upper bond right lower, lower limit upper limit that means a lower limit and upper limit for a power generation and then this is used for a, uh, executing that to cost function right and then here you have to fix the maximum number of iteration maximum number of uh, population okay and then uh, that uh, beta limit right scaling factor right upper and uh, uh, lower scaling factor and then cro crossover probability everything you have to provide here and then this code used to for finding the initial uh, cost function that means fuel cost and emission cost and then uh, this iteration in iteration you go for selection process and then mutation and crossover okay so this will be keep on executing not to get the best to uh, that mean uh, best to fuel cost combined uh, economic emission cost okay so once you execute this code right so this will be uh, send the each data and then uh, the process will be uh, going to be taking place for every uh, load okay so at the end of uh, that uh, uh, completion of this code right so you can see the the final result so the final result you can see here right so here you can see that uh, that mean uh, power data and then power demand and then power loss so that means power generation sorry power generation so here you can see the power loss and then fuel cost emission cost and the final uh, combined uh, economic emission cost okay so next here you can see that so this this is the code used for a uh, uh, calculating that objective function so objective function here is nothing but so combining the fuel cost and the emission cost with the some penalty factor as well as uh, that mean uh, power balance okay so that will be uh, uh, comprised of that uh, for the objective function okay fuel cost emission cost with the penalty factor and the power balance okay so that is known as witness value okay so once is uh, the code is completed so you can see the result of the all uh, optimal power generation for a 24 hours load okay so you have to wait for uh, some time for completion of this code and also finally you can see the 
and the converging graph for each hour, right? So you have wait for some time. So now you can see that that uh, the iteration for uh, uh, 24 hour load is uh, completed, right? And then here you can see that the, this is a convergent graph for a uh, different hours from first hour to 24 hours. Okay. So this is a final uh, cost function uh, that will cost value, best cost value. So here you can see that. So this is objective function. So here you are going to minimize this objective function, sum of fuel cost and uh, sum of uh, emission cost and then power balance okay so next you can see the result in uh, here right so this is a final result so here you can see that uh, we have that result of 24 hours load data and the optimal value for the power generation so this is a, a detail of hours one first hour to 20, 24 hours so this is the load demand for each hour and then so from uh, a column uh, 3 to 12 right so this is known as uh, a power generation for the uh, 10 generator so generator 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and then this one is power loss so this one is fuel cost and this is emission cost and this is uh, total fitness value right objective function value for that uh, first hour to 24 hours so this is the final data we are getting uh, for that difference by using differential evolution algorithm for a combined economic emission dispatch for the power plant okay so this is the working of this model thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe to channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye